The long-standing conflict between Israel and Hezbollah has recently escalated and dramatically following a new aerial offensive by Israel in Lebanon that has resulted in nearly 500 deaths and many injuries. And the recent air strike by Israel in Lebanon have raised a serious concern about the possibility of a larger war. And on September 23, Lebanon experienced its deadliest day in years, with nearly 500 people and including many women and children killed. And this dramatic escalation follows years of tension between Israel and Hezbollah, who is a militant group based in Lebanon. And now recently, analysts are saying that these recent wave of Israeli airstrikes against Hezbollah is the largest since 2006 war. And Hezbollah is a militant group in Lebanon that is backed by Iran. And this significant increase in military action shows just how serious situation has become and raising a fears of a major conflict, according to First Post. And now, the increase in violence has made world leaders worry about the situation getting worse. Like in UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres mentioned that he does not want Lebanon to face the same kind of conflict that Gaza has experienced. While EU Foreign Affairs Chief Joseph Borrell also shared his concerns, stating that the situation is very close to turning into a full-scale war. And now, in the past 24 hours, Israeli launched a new airstrike campaign which is against Hezbollah and called Northern Arrows. And this follows the recent explosion in Lebanon and targets southern and the eastern region, which is including also Beirut. And the goal is to weaken Hezbollah amid rising tensions. Well, the Israeli airstrike have killed at least 492 people and including 35 children, as reported by the Lebanese Health Ministry. In Israel targeted about 1,600 sites in the southern and the eastern Lebanon, who is claiming to have killed many Hezbollah militants and including in a strike in Beirut. And meanwhile, nearly a year of conflict in Gaza has severely hurt Israel's economy. And as a result, Poverty is now affecting communities even in the areas that are far from the fighting with Hamas. Like many people are struggling financially and the impact of the war are being felt widely across the country. And after Israel started its air strikes, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu sent a message to the Lebanese people. He said that Israel's conflict is not with them. but with Hezbollah, which has been hiding missiles in the residential areas. But it suffered a significant setback from the worst attack in its history and the ongoing war that followed. Like recently, after a 21% decline in the fourth quarter of 2023, Israel's GDP bounced back with a 14% increase in the first three months of 2024 according to official data and the Japan Times reports. And however, growth slowed down in the second quarter and registering only a 0.7 increase. And now Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has claimed that the economy is a stable and solid and that it will improve once the war is over. So what are your thoughts about the recent escalation? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Till then, do follow India.com for more such international affairs.